Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel and to this video today we will be painting another seascape but we will be practicing painting some sun rays going from the clouds and I hope you will give this one a try it really is a lot easier than it might seem on the first glance so at first I started with my sketch and I drew the horizon line just beneath the middle part of my paper and then drew in those rocks that are gonna be in the water and later on I will lost them and I add the paint but I will sketch them again so just keep that in mind your sketch doesn't have to be too light because they're gonna be black and the lines won't be visible so you can just go ahead and do it a little bit darker after that I prevented the entire paper and then with cadmium yellow medium painted in the part just above the horizon line and the middle part of the sea where the reflection from the sky is going to be and also I left one part uh, in the sea a little bit lighter I actually picked up the paint with a tissue paper just to make it white because I do want that part to be white and looking as though the sun is shining right in that part, the strongest sun ray. And also I added a little bit of cadmium yellow medium in the upper part, in the part of the sky because when we paint clouds those parts are gonna stay a little bit yellowish, some are gonna be a little bit yellowish, some a little bit white and it will just look very beautiful. And then when the paint completely dry I painted in the clouds and as you can see I did it just quite a simple and easy way. I used indanthrin blue and with indanthrin blue I just tapped in the paint here and there and I did not paint the entire sky but those parts that I wanted to be white I just skipped and painted in the parts where I want my clouds to be and just be careful not to go too close uh, with one cloud to another because the paint the paper is wet and the paint will bleed. Later on I added a little bit more of the pigment here and there on some some parts of the clouds. With turquoise blue I've painted in the lower part of the sea and this time I did not prevent the paper because I did want it to some to some degree a little bit of dry brush effect but I did add a little bit more water into my brush later on and then smudge it all again and then just beneath the horizon line I painted in with the dantran blue and since my paint didn't dry completely it just bleed into my sky so I picked it up with a towel dry my paint completely and then afterwards I've painted in again the horizon line this time the paper was completely dry in the upper part in the part of my sky and if you're a patient person just first leave that paint to dry completely and then go paint beneath your horizon line then you won't need this step you won't need to wipe it with a tissue paper as I said I wasn't really patient so I had that problem but I've sold it like that I've just picked it up with a tissue paper dried it and then paint in again the horizon line and I'm using the darkest color in my horizon line that is in Dantheran blue using also a smaller brush to make it easier on myself to paint that line straight and then just going downwards into the part of the sea that is near to to us I've painted in some lines so this time I did prevent the paper and I'm adding here and there some lines mimicking some waves again with a smaller brush because the smaller brush can hold a little bit less water and this time I don't want my paint to bleed so much after the paper again completely dried I've added a little bit of cadmium yellow medium to the part the middle part of my sea where the reflection is but also being careful to leave that one part of the sea completely white where I want that sun ray to hit the sky to hit the sea and just to make it look as though there is shining the strongest in there in that part with a dagger brush again I'm adding some lines here and there this is after the paint completely dried I'm adding some lines dry brushing technique here and there also and then again when the paint completely dry I'm using a flat brush this time this is a smaller flat brush I advise you to use a smaller one you will have a little bit more control and this should be done with a you know with a flat brush not really with a round I'm not sure how it would turn out if you would be using a round brush for picking up the paint I always do use a flat brush so if you have a flat brush use a flat brush and 
as I said I've just picked up a little bit of water in my brush and not really my brush is not really damped or wet the, the water is not dripping from it it is quite dry but with some water in it and with that I'm picking up the paint and one more thing I wanted you to be careful about just be careful that your sun rays go from one spot you know just if you're if you're not sure if you're not confident how to do it just maybe use a washi tape or any round object place it in the part where you think the sun is and just make your lines going from that because you know if you paint them straight or not going from the same place they wouldn't be quite believable it will look bad and after painting the sun rays I added uh, picked up the paint a little bit in the sea where those sun rays are hitting the sea and also in an upper part where my widest part of the the sky is where that sun is shining through and then with a uh, Andantran blue I've added again a couple of darker lines in the part nearest to that reflection and also going downwards after the paint again completely dried, I left my paper to dry completely, I've painted in the rocks and for that I'm using neutral black and I'm just painting in the rock and then with a little bit of water I clean my brush in the water and then smudge the lower part and then added some lines mimicking the shadows of the rocks in my sea as you can see right now. And I did paint the first rock a little bit differently, but then later on I liked more how I painted the second and the third rock. So I went back to my first one, picked up the paint with towel and then added those a little bit lines further away also from the rock. As I said, I, I like that way better. And I did not paint, and you can see on the left side there are three rocks. I did not paint them at the same time because I did want it some variety in the color. I, don't want, I did want it to make it look as though there are three rocks. Just keep that in mind. In the place where those rocks are touching, you can just leave one uh, part a little bit lighter. Don't paint the that rock on the left those rocks on the left in the same exact wash because then they won't look as though there are three rocks but only one rock just you know just keep that in mind and with that I'll be finishing off this video of course this painting I've added again yes a couple of lines with my script brush that was recorded actually while I was still having my script brush but you know I will get it. I will get it. I will get it. You know, you those who heard me whine in my previous videos about that script brush, you know, um, well, doesn't matter. Okay, so I've added those couple of lines again because I felt there was something missing in the sea. And with that, I'll be finishing off this painting and this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all, all your support. I really do appreciate it a lot. And if you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. That would really, really mean a lot to me. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.